What's up guys, coming at you from Medellin, Colombia. And today I want to talk about basically this crazy week that I've had here, all right? So I've closed nine girls, nine new girls in the first four days of being in Medellin, Colombia. And a whole bunch of guys like in the different forums and stuff are like, bullshit, he must be lying. Because keep in mind, a lot of these guys, most of the guys in the community have late counts between like five and 15. So I just knocked down a lot of people's uh, lifetime counts in like four days. Um, and yes, I, you know, I'm gonna put this out as a caveat one time up front because people are all gonna fucking bitch about it in the comments and stuff. I am 604, 193 centimeters. I am white. I do have blue eyes in Colombia, but I, do, I did the same kind of shit in Ukraine, all countries all over the place, okay? This is how I'm gonna explain to you guys how this is possible and how I fucked lots of girls. But yes, I do have an advantage being tall. Yes, I do have an advantage being in Latin America, being a white guy, okay? But that's not, if that was the case, I, I know people that have come to Latin America that are white and they strike out, okay? I know people that are tall, tons of people that are tall that suck at game, okay? I know tons of people that are tall and white that go to Asia and Latin America and they don't get laid at all, okay? It's not, it's not some magic solution just to, you know, it's the same thing, same argument guys try to use when they say, oh, like, you have great logistics or whatever. Put me at, in any big city a half an hour from a club and then stack up whatever pickup artists you want or whatever guys you want and put them living above the venue or next to the venue and I'm just going to slaughter them. It doesn't matter. I, it doesn't, you don't need to be extremely close to the venue, okay? I'm going to take the girl to a cab and then you banter in the cab on the way home. All right, but I want to make this kind of quick and succinct and to the point because I have a, a trick over but yeah this apologies for not getting up a video sooner uh, since I left but it's just been like a whirlwind like fuck fest like my fucking dick needs a vacation here um, okay so almost all these were tinder that I set up if you guys have been watching my more recent videos um, I kind of I switched my tinder almost two weeks in advance. Okay, so with Tinder Plus, you can change your location. So two weeks before I even arrived here, I switched my Tinder to be swiping in Medellin. And I disqualified myself from being a sex tourist because they, a lot of them think that, a lot of them um, are turned off by guys that just come here looking for sex. So I said, I live here for work. I'm from New York, but I live here for work. And I talk about that more extensively in my online game video on my channel. Um, Okay, so now this, this isn't, I don't want you guys to think this is Tinder specific or this, or this is just some phenomenon of a white guy in a Latin American country. This is how I've gotten up. I, mean, I just did numbers 813 through 821, all right? This isn't just some like little random freak thing, okay? This is how I've been doing this all along. I'm gonna kind of break down exactly what, how I've been doing this. So. The key, and that five hour video that I have, the tactical game breakdown on my channel, it's like this long rant, I drink a whole bottle of rum, it's out of control. <clears throat> and in this video I talk about how game is a system, right? I break it down from a macro level in a flow chart and I show you're acquiring leads from night game, from day game, from online game. Those leads turn into dates and then you close dates, and then you put girls on rotation. Like that's literally the whole machine. All right, like I already have a rotation here. I know it sounds silly because I've only been here, today's like day number five, um, but I'm already repeating chicks. Like I've repeated, out of those nine, I've already repeated like four. And there's another one over here right now on the way uh, to repeat. So I've, I've just built a rotation in under a week. And you know, nine lays for four days is pretty solid. I think my record is, 17 new in 12 days, all right? <laughs> I mean, that's all I've been doing, right? Like, I have, I'm behind on some work, and I haven't really had a chance to record, and, you know, we've fucked off the gym, and we're doing, like, some kickboxing drills and shit, but, yeah, everything else just kind of, like, got pushed aside as we fucking tore through, and Sonny's been doing the same shit. We, I think he's fucked six or seven. Um, okay, so... The name of the game is you put leads into the funnel, okay, at the beginning. Night game, day game, and online game. Okay, online game, Tinder and Bumble. Day game, streets, malls, public shit where there's people during the day. And then, which I'm not a fan of too much. And then night game, bars and clubs. So, um, 
I'm going to be doing night game tonight and tomorrow. There's the wash. Because uh, it's the weekend. But I heard a lot of the fucking chicks that are at nightclubs here are hookers, which, you know, I'm asking because, like, prostitution is, like, a big thing here. So I'm asking, like, each girl, like, you're not a hooker, right? Before I even meet up with her over Tinder. Like, I already get her number, but then I ask before I meet up, you're not a hooker, right? Because, like, some of them are. So I've been screening those out. And I did go out to a bar uh, from a nightclub, and I did pull. But there was, like, all these fucking chicks approaching that were hookers. Um, okay. So get, getting straight to the point, the name of the game is put leads into the funnel, okay? In this particular situation, since I wasn't here yet, I used Tinder. And since a lot of the chicks at the clubs are going to be hookers, which I don't want, on Tinder, I haven't ran into too many. It's like maybe like 5% or 10% on Tinder. Um, and a lot of them like say it in the profile or, or shit like that. Um, so then after that, it's just working the leads to set up dates. And I have a five part series on this channel, excuse me, about how to work leads. And like the more I think about it, where I'm coming up on a thousand leads now, I have a lot of experience with this, with every aspect of it. The more I think about it, I think the most important aspect of game, you know, there's, there's a bunch of other ones too that are, you know, up there. But I think probably the most important is your ability to acquire leads and then work those leads into closes, right? Like when I was focusing hard on business and the gym and stuff like that before my trip here, I didn't really have many leads coming into the funnel, right? So I have like this extreme skill set and this optimized method to put them through the funnel, so to speak, and close them and put them on rotation. But I wasn't even really getting many leads, right? So my, my like lay rate, so to speak, like slowed way down. Um, I think I did like 10 in like six weeks, which is like really slow for me, typically. And now here we are where I'm like going full at it and it's nine. I just need to check because this girl's in the way. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, and all my dates have been Spanish. I speak fluent Spanish. I just talked about it in my last video on this channel. You can learn a language in 10 to 12 hours. I did it personally. A bunch of my friends have done it. So, like, barely any of the girls speak English here. So, I've been speaking to them fully in Spanish and interactions on the dates, over text, all that shit. That's why I was laughing because it's like. It's like funny reading their Spanish text. Um, so, <clears throat> it really just becomes like a scheduling thing. Like, here, I'll give you an example. Like, tomorrow is Saturday. I have a girl scheduled for 1 p.m., 3 p.m. No, I have two scheduled for 1 p.m., 3 p.m., 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m. And typically you need, and I've been doing this like each day, so a lot of, because you're going to get flakes, like, some girls are legit legitimately going to have stuff that comes up. Some are going to not be able to make it or just like go ghost on you. So I'll, I'll usually schedule them two hours apart and then I like double stack some of the slots and I'll just cancel on the ones that like I'll cancel. Like say I have like two girls and it's coming up to the time that we're supposed to meet and I'm supposed to meet both of them. I'll either like do a DTF screen or I will, which means sending certain texts like kind of like hinting about whether or not they're gonna like put out on the first date um, <clears throat> Not like super explicitly and I'll go over that in another video because I actually have some new I'm always like still trying to tweak this stuff and optimize it further And I will put out my new Little kind of it's basically just like a micro compliance ladder um, I'll touch on it briefly real fast. So basically I'll say here like in uh, Colombia what I've been doing is I'm saying I have a secret, and this is all in Spanish, but I'm gonna say in English. I'm like, I have a secret, and the girl's like, tell me, what is it? And I'm like, I think your body is sexy. And I do like the monkey <laughs> with the hands over the eyes emoji. And that like kind of like softens it, so it's not like so hardcore. It's not like, oh, your body is like super hot, right? And if she's like one of those like in between that like would have fucked if you had good game, but like isn't like super DTF, then you don't blow it out because it has like the monkey thing. And then a lot of times they're like, thank you. And then I send this picture of myself. <laughs> I'll probably post it up in this video here in the post-production. It's basically like a shirtless picture of me with like ripped fake abs, right? Like right now I have been bulking up, but I haven't, we haven't like cut the body fat down yet. So I'm at like 17% or something, but we're going to cut it down to like 10%. 
Um, and we have like this killer ab workout, but my abs aren't showing yet. But I have this really killer picture that looks like not, none, none of the girls have realized it's fake yet. I'm just using like an abs app actually. And I made it grayscale and like <laughs> balanced out the tones and stuff. Okay, so I show, I show that and the girls are always like, oh my God, so sexy. And then I say, um, like my dick looks even better or something like that in Spanish. And they're like, really? And that's kind of like the screen right there, but, it, but see how it kind of like led up to that? It just didn't, it didn't come out of nowhere. Like, hey, wanna see my dick? It was like, <laughs> um, I think your body's sexy, which is kind of like going that direction anyways. Some girls will like fall out of the screen right there and they'll be like, oh, like I think we might be looking for different things. And those are usually like the prude girls. And then you have those like kind of like in the middle ones. Uh, but you want to get rid of the prude girls, because especially when you're running volume. Like watch my channel, it's like one of the first videos I did, so like it looks like shit and it sounds like shit. <laughs> but actually I think the sound is okay in that one. It's like one of the first videos on the channel, if you look in the channel's history. Working volume, it doesn't even have that many views, but it's like one of the most important videos. Like working volume in that machine is in the, that working lead series, the parts one through five. That's like super, 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 super key, okay? Because the more, like say you have like this little amount of leads coming in the funnel and like your game kind of sucks and you lose a lot of them in the beginning stages. Like you can't get any to the fucking close. Okay, as you increase the volume, more come through, but if your game still sucks, they fall out before they get to the bottom or not, or not that many pass through or only like average looking ones pass through or ugly ones, which you don't want. You shouldn't even be putting ugly ones into the, into the funnel. But when you run the volume and then your game is tight, that kind of keeps your funnel wider, less and less are dropping off and that's how you get shit loads of results. That's how you close nine in four days. <clears throat> okay, so, okay, the, with the last little piece of that sexual screen is I'm like, the dick looks even better, blah, blah, blah. And then I, I do like a embarrassed face, or whatever, like the hands over the embarrassed face. Again, like softening, so it's not like trying to seem hardcore. And then a lot of times they'll be like, oh, really? Or like, oh, I'm curious, or, or like, oh, interesting. And then I'll be like, do you want to see it? So like with dick pics, I'm gonna make a whole separate video on dick pics. With dick pics, you don't ever want to just like send it, what they refer to as unsolicited. Like you don't want to just like, fire a dick pic out of nowhere. It should be like this gradual thing that's built up to and then I always explicitly ask them, do you want to see it, right? <clears throat> I actually got that from Sonny. Um, but it's really solid because there's gonna be chicks that were down that like are like really anti-dick pic or whatever or they think it's like really crass and if you just fire it off, like they're gonna, it's gonna blow out. But when you ask them permission, and you've already like basically got them to the point where they're gonna want to, where they're gonna mostly say yes at that point. So they, they say that, and then I send like this quadrant dick pic. It's like four, um, it's like four pictures of my dick like in a collage, and like all four were like perfect angles and like different scenarios. <laughs> whole another topic, but like you want to be getting like a dick pic. <laughs> I'll make a whole separate video on this, but you want to be getting a dick pic or like I do as a joke with the four that are like really high rated by hot girls, right? So all, all four of those were like very highly rated and so the chicks always respond extremely well to it. <clears throat> if you have a tiny dick, you, you probably don't wanna be sending dick pics. <laughs> um, as, a, as a brief aside there. Ah, uh, shit, this chick's gonna be really soon. Okay, so I'll, I'll finish this up. So uh, at that point, after they like react positively to the dick pic, like you know they're down, right? So. Like tonight, I had two chicks I wanted to meet in the same, the same slot, and I did like that screen, and one was like, I want to meet in public, like, oh, I'm not that kind of girl, all that kind of shit. Whereas the other one was like, wow, it looks so good, like I want to come over, like that kind of shit. So that's how you screen. You don't really need to be screening too much unless you're running a lot of volume, which you should be doing because volume is what gets you more results. <clears throat> and then from that point, you say, uh, you say, awesome, uh, what, you know, she like compliments you on it, and you're like, what would you do with it? I got that from Sunny too, and that leads into sexting. I'll make a whole separate video on this, I just want to touch on it briefly. And then she's like, oh, I would, I would suck it, and I'd ride it, and do this, and this, and this. And then it's like all out of the way before, that's what I was talking about in my last video, I alluded to the fact that I've been putting some girls on rotation before they even meet up for the first time. So like after you're going to the sex and all this shit, she, the sex thing about all the stuff she's gonna do with your dick, then you're like, oh, you're gonna like it so much, like we should start like 
fucking every day and this guy and you so now you're framing them into the rotation and you haven't even met this girl yet, right? If it's an in online lead, for example, like I've been doing with, with these Tinder girls. So I've had girls like on board to just start like fucking me and, and giving me head daily that have, that I've never met before. Because my profile's high value, the pictures are high value, the description is high value, my texts are alpha. I've built this micro compliance letter to a sexual screen. You know, imagine if I had just been like out of nowhere, like um, hey, want to see my dick or just out of nowhere I fired the picture. That same <laughs> That same girl that was like all into it could very easily just like block you because it's like it's the same thing as like guys that don't do any escalation physically and then they get home and they like start trying to go for it all of a sudden as like this big big deal move and the girl's like what the fuck is this right because the frame wasn't set and that same girl would have fucked a guy like me like 99 percent you know in this particular scenario whereas the guy that's like bringing the escalation out of nowhere or the sexual verbals out of nowhere is going to seem like a fucking creep or seem like a weirdo okay so okay that's that's the sexual screening part but i just want to give you an example like i just stack up all these slots and then you know i get into extreme detail about how to uh, run your dates and close your dates in my product it's not a plug i just i'm keeping certain things off this channel like i don't want to do a disservice to the guys that have bought the product um but i'm running my dates like a machine okay most of the girls want to meet in public here i've only had like one or two that have came straight to the house i advocate in the u.s in the united states doing dates straight to the house to split a bottle of wine right and i have a video about that framing dates straight to the house and then i have a, another video about how to close once the date comes to your house but for these dates they've just been a bunch of chit chat you know, like they all think my accent is cute when I'm speaking Spanish. <laughs> and, um, you know, the place I had, I just, I just switched apartments. So the place I had before I had a terrace. I'm like, oh, let's go to the terrace and have more drinks. So right? it's low pressure. And then, of course, we didn't go to the terrace. We just went straight to the bedroom. Oh, I have, I took like these pictures. Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you see the picture I took with like the little fucking York, Yorkies or whatever. Um, I'm using that as a main Tinder picture now and it's crushing it. It was taken with like a pro camera and I have like four dogs from the, this dude that just happened to be walking by. It was like perfect timing and it's like this nice like picturesque scene and shit like that. Um, it shows off the new tat. So <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I, I left my vibrator. Not, not for me, but I, I use a Hitachi on a lot of these chicks. Hitachi vibrator, um, H-I-T-A-C-H-I, -H -I. look it up, get it on Amazon. Fucking drives the girls crazy, gives them the best enhancement to sex they've ever had. Um, camera's blinking, oh, I think it's just, okay, no, it's cool. Uh, yeah, I left that at the previous apartment and the host is like, the maid found a vibrator I'm like, oh yeah, that's mine. So I gotta go pick that up tomorrow. Um, okay, so, oh yeah, so like, let's go to the terrace and then, and then I'm like, oh, you should see these photos I have on my computer that I took with these dogs. And then we go and I have my computer in my bed and there we are, okay? And of course, I've usually started making out with her like during the drink state or on the walk back or whatever. You know, it's already like to the point where we're gonna hook up. And there's one chick, like one of the hottest ones I went out with, that I didn't close because, and we had like sex in and stuff beforehand, but she had a rule where like she was like, I want to keep my pants on the first date, but I'm seeing her again tomorrow and we'll slam her out. And she's a, like a 21 year old model. She's actually from New Zealand. Um, okay. That's pretty much it. Um, put more leads in the funnel, right? If you don't want to use online game, I'm using online game here because there's a lot of hookers at the clubs, which I don't want. Traditionally, the way I've done this through most of my account is getting a lot of nightclub numbers, okay? So bars and clubs. And I have a video on my channel, how to run a night game interaction properly. Watch that. And I also have a video, a lot of guys, I think there's only like 4,000 views on it. I break down a start to finish poll that took 10 minutes in the first half of the night with a hot chick. And I like go through, I, I don't really see many coaches doing that or anyone doing that. It's a hot chick, 10 minute pull, and I break down the whole thing from start to finish. So you guys can literally like learn a whole shitload of, from that, copy it, whatever. So go out more, 
day game, usually the bang for the buck is not there. I always mention it because it's still a form of game and there's still like a certain caliber of girls that you're gonna find. Like the quality of girls is arguably better just because it's not a bunch of like nightclub pieces of trash. Um, it's a bunch of girls that, you know, might be more fitness oriented or into yoga or, or whatever. They're, they're just not slutty, right? Which, <laughs> like the main chick I like back now in the United States <clears throat> is like a yoga teacher. And like, she doesn't go out drinking and, and uh, clubbing and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, all you need, it doesn't matter where you get those leads from. Just get the leads, learn how to work them properly, learn how to close back at the house, watch everybody on closing back at the house, learn how to get the leads properly, watch everybody on how to run night game interactions, and then work the leads properly. Like, the night game interaction one is to acquire the leads, work them properly, watch my five part series on acquiring the leads, and that's it. Like, you get the leads, you work them properly with the scheduling, and you close them out. And then I have a video on rotations for that last part. And for those of you that have not seen my five, I know it's a long video, the five hour tactical breakdown video. I'm referencing each part of that chart. The beginning is you're acquiring leads from day game, night game online. Then it's game skill about, you know, how well, how well you're gonna be able to get phone numbers and get those leads uh, brought into the fold, so to speak. Then your texting and your ability to work the leads is gonna get you those meetups, okay? But also how you interacted like in those interactions with the night game <clears throat> and day game, that's going to carry on as well. So you need to you need to bring that alpha shit to the table, and then how you run your dates and how you, you your ability to close is going to impact how many of those ones that meet up will fuck. And then watch everybody on rotations to learn how to retain these girls. Okay, so like a lot of the way that I've been doing it with, with these girls here to re retain them is like when I'm banging them, like I, I'm giving them like the full fucking run through. Like the first girl I banged here, I banged her like seven times. It was like afternoon, night, slept over, next morning. I canceled a whole bunch of, like I've been canceling a whole shit of, <laughs> that's the other funny part. I've been canceling a lot of dates, even though I did nine and four days, you know, there's only so much time in the day. Like I just took, I literally like had a half hour here before this chick arrived to just fucking rip through this video here, but like there isn't enough time in the day, so <laughs> like there's a bunch of like pussy being left on the table, right? And it, that goes back to how well are you gonna work the leads? I'm resetting them all for, for future days, right? So that's about all there is to be said here and this, this chick is arriving now. So, um, oh, and one other thing, uh, and this is not at all, don't take offense to this, uh, for those of you that don't want to uh, donate, and it's not for me personally, it's for my friend, uh, Sonny Arvado, who's been on this channel before. He actually was drugged by a Tinder girl. Okay, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't a hooker, she didn't ask for any money, there was no red flags. They fucking got food and shit, went back. He only had three drinks, fucking blacked his memory out, super scary. She took his camera, she took his watch, she took all his cash. Um, it's really fucked up. So I started a GoFundMe um, for people to raise donations. I have a Facebook group. Uh, where I give game advice and stuff like that. And we've already, guys have donated like 500 bucks. I put it up for like 800 so he could get a new camera. And, and it's not, guys are all like, oh, like I thought you guys were doing well in business and shit. It's like the principle, like it kind of like crushed his spirit for the trip. And it's not at all about the money. Like him and I both run very successful businesses, like even apart from the pickup stuff. And it's not about that at all. It's like a, it's like a principle thing because he feels like part of the shit was ripped out and the fact that a whole bunch of people I like giving him good wishes and like, you know, kind of like supporting him through this. It's like, it was like very fucking uh, emotionally and mentally scarring for him to be straight up. Um, and it, it kind of uh, razzled me a bunch too because this chick was in our fucking place and fucking drugged him. And luckily I didn't get my shit stolen. Um, but yeah, I'll put that link in the, in the bottom. Again, don't take any offense. You know, there's no... Uh, <laughs> pressure here like guys and some guys in the group were like oh that's so rude you know it's literally like I'm trying to do like a good thing for my friend and just have him get a new camera so he can he's gonna be using mine for YouTube videos and shit like that but um, it's 800 bucks and there's like 300 remaining so like if you want to throw 20 bucks or 50 bucks that's cool um, and that's it so oh and last thing uh, I promised you guys I would do a day game pull which means taking a girl home breakdown from start to finish once we hit 2,000 subscribers. We hit 2,000 subscribers uh, right when I was leaving for Columbia. We actually hit it on St. Patrick's Day. Uh, thank you guys for that. Keep sharing the channel. It's gonna keep, it's gonna snowball and get 
much bigger. Don't worry. I have I have a whole bunch of stuff in the works. Um, I have collaborations coming out with guys with 100k plus subscribers. Um, but I will get around to doing that in the next few days, hopefully. And I will post that. It will be a day game breakdown from approach all the way to taking the girl home of a daytime pickup. Okay, which should be you know I have a fucking nighttime pull taking her home from nightclub start to finish. And now I'm gonna put out a daytime one. Okay, so. That's normally I would I would only uh, release that kind of stuff and paid paid products, but it was kind of incentive for people to help share the channel. I want this content to reach as many people as possible because I do believe, despite having less subscribers or less views than a lot of these other pickup channels, hopefully you guys have have realized this because I get messages all the time that this, this shit's like changing people's lives. They're finally getting laid. They're fi it's finally clicking because I'm cutting through all the BS and I'm delivering it straight up, right? Like I'm. I'm, I'm no bullshit, I don't make up results, I don't make up skills, I actually have the skills. Like some guys are like, oh, I don't believe nine and four days. Like, I've, I've made it abundantly clear throughout my whole pickup journey and with my whole reputation as a pickup artist that I will never lie about, like the New Zealand chick. Like that actually was like a four hour date, we ended up like going dancing and like doing all this shit because um, I didn't want to like hard push it and she was like my favorite out of all the girls. And like we went back and I like fucking sucked her tits and we made out and shit. <laughs> but it didn't close because she had like that little rule and I respected it. It's not trying to do like this hard break the LMR push. You know, but I ran into people actually that I had met from the States the next day and they're like, oh, like you fucked the shot of that girl. I'm like, no, we didn't, we didn't fuck. People were like, what? She was so hot. She was all over you. I'm like, yeah, we didn't fuck. You know, but I'm always going to keep things totally legit and fucking call people out that need to be called out that are lying, that are fucking bullshitting. And, uh, you know, keep making th awesome things happen because I can make awesome things happen for real. So that concludes well, my uh, little speech here. Okay, yeah, she's here. All right, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for tuning in.